Hi, I'm Underbelly, and you suck at producing. Having multiple melodies in your track is like having multiple children in your household. Wrong. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to make melodies that play well with one another. Let's get started. Case check it. Melodies are like children. Each child adds their own dynamic and personality to the family. Let's go ahead and listen to the family before they decided to have children. Oh, wowzers. Not just a young, optimistic couple ready to take on the world together. And then nine months later, out pops Roger and just decides to ruin the whole fucking thing. God damn it! Now here's the thing about Roger, he's a very energetic, very stupid young boy. So it's important not to confuse him by adding too many notes to his melody. Instead, let's just pick one note. In this case, let's just do the root note of whatever scale we're in. I think it's A in this case. And then just try writing an interesting rhythm or groove off that one note. So let me show you exactly what I mean. I'm just gonna highlight Roger here, and I'm just gonna play one note with him, just A in this case. So let's just try it. Okay, so that's a bit boring. Let's try something more exciting. Okay. Okay, wowzer. Let's just go ahead and duplicate that loop. Let's take some of these. Wowzers. So you see here, I actually started with the rhythm or the groove of the melody first using just one note. And only then did I try shifting some of these notes up and down the scale. Wowzers, very appropriate for Roger's intellectual level here. Okay, now for Harold here, our next child, Harold is the older, more intelligent, more precocious child. He doesn't he, he likes spending more time on each note, okay? He's got, you know, kind of a longer, more sustained sound to him. Sounds like this. And for Harold, it's really the notes that matter, not so much establishing an interesting rhythm or groove. So let's just go ahead and try playing something with Harold. And once again, for Harold, it's important to have a longer, more sustained sound because that's what he's going for. So let's just take a listen here. Up a little bit. One more time. Okay, wowzers. See, now there's actually room in the family for both Roger and Harold. Notice that with Harold here, I'm spending the most time on very strong notes in the scale. I'm spending it on A, which is the root, A both times, and then there's the E, which is just a fifth up. Both of these notes, very, very strong in the scale. And then I'm using these secondary notes, G and D, as sort of stepping stones between one strong note and the next. Wowzers. So with Roger, once again, we're going for a more rhythmic approach. With Harold, we're focusing more on a harmonic approach. Now, there's going to be times when both of your children are pissing you off so much that you just can't deal with them anymore, and you have to use technology to raise your children for you. So let's just go ahead and stop Roger and Harold what we're going to do is we're just going to take the DNA of one of our parents here, in this case, the small boy, which is just chords here. And then we're going to actually take these chords and turn them into a melody. And the way we do that is by using an arpeggiator. So let's just go ahead and turn our arpeggiator on. And we're going to set the style to random. And what that does is it takes a random note from each one of these chords and just plays them in sequence. So it sounds like this. Wowzers. 
So even though it's totally random, it's actually coming up with some pretty interesting melodies. Now, the problem is we can't say, you know, say we like what the arpeggiator did. We can't save it for later. We can't edit it. It's a closed box. Well, here's the thing. Let's go ahead and create a new empty MIDI track, open up our I.O. settings, and let's just get the MIDI from uh, I Give Up, go ahead and arm that track, and now we can actually record what the arpeggiator is doing. So let's just try it real quick. Wowzers. Okay, I'm gonna cream myself, this is so cool. Now let's just go ahead and take that MIDI, put it back into the original track, turn the arpeggiator off, and now we're free to go ahead and edit this uh, computer-generated melody as we please. Maybe take some of these notes, remove them, shift them up or down. Wowzers! Okay, now that's really how you raise a child. Okay, so check it. If you're still having trouble making your melodies work with one another, consider becoming a member of my Discord, where you can show your melodies to thousands of other producers and get feedback. You can join my Discord by clicking on the link in the video description below. I'm Underbelly. Have a great day.